So when we're talking about moving through the mountains efficiently and quickly, some of the top things that come to mind for me is, number one is, is absolute fitness. It all starts with your fitness and the ability to move through difficult terrain smoothly and quickly. When it comes to hunting day after day, you have to have a good cardio ability. It's the combination of cardio and strength. So when you're moving through rocky terrain, rock hopping, a lot of it is strength and having the ability to move quickly over a number of different different rocks and keeping your head up, although at the same time knowing exactly where your foot placement is. So that's a bit of a, a bit of a challenging one and takes some practice to be really efficient at it. The next thing is trekking poles. Uh, I'll tell you, I look at trekking poles as an extra set of legs. Four legs are better than two when it comes to moving through the mountains if you ever watch sheep or goats. So yeah, trekking poles are such a huge factor for me, making sure that uh, I've always got them with me and I'm using them efficiently and properly as well. Uh, you know, the carbide poles and certainly carbon fiber, lighten them up are my choice as far as poles go. Now, and then boots. You have to have a good solid pair of boots that are gonna be able to withstand the, obviously the beating up in the rocks that they're gonna take, but they also have to have great ankle support. Because when you step onto a rock and it moves, you obviously don't want to twist an ankle and good ankle support is going to be key to be able to move from that boulder that just just tipped over on you to the next one and often you can get ahead of yourself and if you get moving too fast um, and a, a rock moves underneath you it starts to throw you off balance so the the quickest way to being efficient there is to get over those few boulders that are moving and then stop, reset, and go again. And then if you've got a really heavy pack, that's a little bit of a different challenge because now you can't necessarily move really quickly and smoothly sometimes if your pack's 90, 100 pounds, whatever it is when you're packing out. But then again, what happens there is the strength factor. If you have good, solid, you know, strong legs, and you also have good cardio, you'll be able to power through those times when you do have a heavy pack and the rocks do tip over on you or it's just a boulder field and everything wants to move. It's about putting all those things together to make you efficient in the mountains, to make you last longer and hopefully pack out heavy.